impact evaluation is not very common in Denmark yet. It's very expensive to do, and we don't have a high tradition on it yet. But we can see that in the social area, uh, the social workers really need to know what to work, and they have a large um, discussion on the, in the field how to get information about what works. So they are curious about it, but they don't know how quite yet to deal with it. It's a very important part of uh, the institute that the, the journalists have access, direct access to the experts. So it works out quite well. It's up to the, uh, every single researcher to judge, uh, is, uh, am I the right expert for this issue? Should I talk to the medias here or should I tell them to go to another of my colleagues, a uh, researchers? So they come to us for a briefing if they need to or most of the time they just handle it by themselves. I think we need a central body like that in Denmark as well to take care of this dissemination to the practitioners. Uh, we know we a lot of research institutes with small communication secretaries and, and uh, researchers have a lot of other things to do as well than to do dissemination. So it would be really nice and a large advantage for the whole sector if we had a body like C4EO that could sort of uh, facilitate the dialogue between the sector and the researchers. I think that we are learning now to uh, get the communications involved earlier so that we can help the researchers to design the project in a way that is making it more usable for the practitioners. At the moment, the most traditional thing is to use it in the end of the project. But I think it's uh, getting more and more common that we are getting to be involved in the beginning as well to design the project.